Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss inclined four bar linkage, position, displacement, velocity and acceleration analysis using analytical method. In this picture shown is a four bar linkage whose fixed link A D is at an angle theta from the horizontal like shown in figure and this fixed link length is L1 and this horizontal length is X and vertical height is Y. So this link is crank and whose length is L2 and it is at an angle theta 2 from the horizontal. Similarly this link is a coupler length is L3 and is at an angle theta 3 from the horizontal and this link is follower link and length is L4 and is at an angle theta 4 from horizontal like shown in figure. Now let us draw a line from B to D and let us call this angle beta and this angle lambda and angle from here to this line is alpha. Let us call this uh, length of this line B to D is L. So from this triangle A, B, D since this angle is theta and angle from here to here is theta 2. So angle from this line to this line will be theta 2 minus theta. Now let us find L length. L can be found using cosine rule. L equal to square root of L1 square plus L2 square minus 2 L1 L2 into cos theta 2 minus theta. So using this formula we can find L for any given angle theta 2. Similarly let us apply sine rule for this triangle A B D. So sine rule can be written as sine beta by L2 equal to sine theta 2 minus theta angle from here to here is theta 2 minus theta by this length is L. So from this we can find beta equal to sine inverse L2 by L into sine theta 2 minus theta. Now let us see this triangle B D C. This is L3, this is L4 and this is L. This angle is alpha, this angle is lambda. Now let us apply cosine rule. Cosine rule is L4 square equal to L square plus L3 square minus 2 L L3 cos alpha. From this we can write alpha equal to cos inverse L square plus L3 square minus L4 square by 2 L L3. Similarly, uh, let us apply cosine rule one more time. So to find lambda. So lambda can be written as lambda equal to cos inverse L square plus L4 square minus L3 square by 2 L L4. So if lambda happens to be less than 90 degrees in any position of theta 2, so we can comfortably use sine rule. Otherwise use cosine rule. Let us see this portion of the diagram here. So angle from here to L3 is theta 3. Angle from this red line to this blue line is alpha. Angle from here to this line, this line is parallel to this line. So that is theta since this angle is theta. And since this angle is beta, this is beta. So from this portion of the uh, diagram, we can write theta 3 equal to theta minus beta plus alpha. Similarly, let us come to this portion of the diagram here. So since this angle is theta, angle from here to here is theta, angle here to here is beta and this is lambda. Now uh, angle from here to this red line is 180 degrees and this is theta 4. So from this diagram theta 4 can be written as theta 4 equal to 180 minus lambda plus beta minus theta. In the previous slide we have seen the equations for theta 3 and theta 4. Now let us write position equation uh, for C. So horizontal position Cx can be written as L1 cos theta that is uh, this distance plus L4 cos theta 4, the horizontal component of L4. Here in the second quadrant, cos theta will be negative. So we are putting here positive that will take care uh, in this equation. That is equal to L2 cos theta 2, horizontal component of uh, this L2 plus L3 cos theta 3, the horizontal component of this L3. So here also theta 2 will be negative in the second quadrant. So by putting plus here, we'll take care of the uh, equation. So Cx is L1 cos theta plus L4 cos theta 4 equal to L2 cos theta 2 plus L3 cos theta 3. Similarly, let us, y, uh, let us write um, y component. So Cy equal to L1 sin theta, that is this height, plus 
L4 sin theta 4, the vertical component of L4 is L4 sin theta 4. That is equal to L2 sin theta 2, that is vertical component of L2 is L2 sin theta 2 plus L3 sin theta 3, the vertical component of L3 is L3 sin theta 3. So Cy equal to L1 sin theta plus L4 sin theta 4 equal to L2 sin theta 2 plus L3 sin theta 3. Now to find angular velocity of coupler and angular velocity of follower links, we need to differentiate the previously discussed position equation once and solve for omega 3 and omega 4. So we get these two equations. And similarly to find angular acceleration of coupler link and angular acceleration of follower link, we need to differentiate the position equation uh, equations twice and solve for alpha 3 and alpha 4. We get these two equations. So these equations are same for uh, four bar mechanism of any orientation. So you can see in the uh, description box the links uh, for these two videos I have done previously. After having derived all the necessary equations, now let us solve a problem using Microsoft Excel. So in this problem we have taken L1 equal to 350 millimeter, uh, L2 is 150 and L3 is 360, L4 is 240 millimeters and omega 2 angular velocity of uh, crank is 18 radians per second and inclination is 10 degrees and alpha angular acceleration of uh, crank is 0 radians per second square. So in this column we have written theta to 0 to 360 degrees at an interval of 15 degrees and in the subsequent uh, uh, columns we have calculated uh, L, beta, alpha, lambda, theta 3, theta 4 and omega 3, omega 4, alpha 3, alpha 4 are calculated and the values are listed here. So in these two columns we have calculated Cx and Cy and in these two cal uh, columns we have calculated Bx and By. So Bx can be written as L2 cos theta 2 and By can be written as L2 sin theta 2. So these are the values. Now let us see in the coming slides the graphs. In this graph we have plotted Bx versus By. So this blue circle is Bx versus By and this yellow arc is Cx versus Cy. So this is a typical crank rocker mechanism. While crank makes 360 degrees, uh, this uh, follower link makes an arc, an arc like shown in figure. In this graph we have plotted theta 2 along horizontal 0 to 360 and along vertical uh, theta 3 and theta 4. So this blue curve represents the th variation of theta 3 with respect to theta 2 and this yellow curve represents variation of theta 4 with respect to theta 2. In this graph we have plotted along horizontal theta 2 along vertical omega 3 and omega 4. So this blue curve represents the variation of omega 3 with respect to theta 2. Similarly this yellow curve represents variation of omega 4 with respect to theta 2. In this graph we have plotted along horizontal theta 2 0 to 360 degrees and along vertical alpha 3 and alpha 4. So this blue curve represents variation of alpha 3 with respect to theta 2. Similarly this yellow curve represents variation of alpha 4 with respect to theta 2. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.